In this video, we're going to go over how to use Trello for production management. Uh, if you're if you're working on a lot of projects at once and have maybe a, a group of team members, etc., you have a lot of stuff going on. Trello can still be good for you if you want to look at it, everything from a macro level. So I've set up a project management or group projects uh, board, and basically what I've done is I've outlined the major the major parts of our production process. So we have items here that are waiting to be started. We're a website design company, so the phases of our projects include designing, programming, launching, warranty, completion. If you're doing something else, like if you're building physical products, it may be material gathering, assembly of the basic parts, assemble, final assembly, QA type stuff, going from start to finish just in you know three to six major chunks. And the idea here is you can see I've created all these different projects. There's actually 30 projects listed. We usually have about 50 going on at any time. And the idea is when you start one, you take it from to be started into the first column, which is designing in my in my organization. Once it's done designing, we move it on to our programming team. Then they can they can they can work on it. Now you can drag things up and down. So if you want to show priorities, like if your programming team is going to be looking at this and you need to be able to show them that project nine is more important than 10, 12, 13, and 19, then you can put that at the top and you know move these however that however they need to go. Once it goes from that state to the next state to the next state, all the way to completed. Another thing that you can do too is if you have substates in here, like for example, um, under my design phase, you can use labels. So if you have checkpoints here, like the first label could be, um, one third design. The second label could be two thirds designed. And then, so if you wanted to have basically, you know, different checkpoints within these, you could say, okay, this project is two thirds designed already, so I'm going to label it with two thirds. And this one is in here for two thirds, so I'm going to label it as two thirds. And then use this color coding system to mark down where these are at. Then once it's all done, you can move it to the next stage and uncheck that label. Okay, um, so basically the idea here is you can, you know, as you can see, you can easily use Trello to manage 20, 30, 40, 50 projects all at once. And the nice thing about using this as an overview is you can have a full chain of activity from start to finish. You can see when people move things. You can have people write comments. You can put checklists in here for various states, etc. But as you can see, it works pretty good. Um, the only the only reason you wouldn't want to use this is if you needed client communication on each project and you wanted that to go through your board. In that situation, you're going to want to use a single board per project, so that when you invite that client to that pro to that board, that he's not going to have access to all the other projects in your in your chain, obviously. So you may use this for you know an internal process and use an individual project management board just for the individual projects so that you can maybe work on substates or communicate with the client through different stages of the process at that point. That's pretty much how you would use it for large project scenario or uh, production overview scenario is what I look at it as. Be sure to watch our other Trello videos to see other ways that you can use Trello to simplify your life as well.